Sonic Frontiers. So it's based heavily a lot on Breath of the Wild, so I thought a lot of the mechanics were then going to be based upon Breath of the Wild, like the parry system. And when I was thinking of a review for this, I was going to rate it kind of a little more harshly because the parry system is so complicated. It like, you have to get it like, like dead on. Like it was doing like frame perfect stuff. Like you got to hit L1 and R1 at the same time. And you know, in Breath of the Wild, it was really, really simple. You just press a button and you release it at the correct time. It was kind of difficult at first, but if you got it, it was really satisfying, but I felt there was like a large window to get the parry mechanic down. But in Sonic Frontiers, the parry mechanic, the, the the frame, the time in which to get it is just so ridiculously small. Like I was I was having a hard time and like bosses utilize it, of course it does. Like that was like the main thing on the bosses stuff. And there was one, the flying wyvern. Like the, uh, there's just, at one point there's just colors and shit all over the screen. I have no idea what the hell is going on. And like I got a parry in the middle of it too. The thing spins around and I have no, I can't tell. It doesn't like, it doesn't telegraph precisely when it's going to go. So I had a hard time telling if like, when the, when the fuck I'm supposed to even fucking do this? So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I was so I was so frustrated, and it was taking me like a long, it was taking me genuinely like 35 minutes on this boss fight. Like, let's forget about all the other times where I have to parry stuff out in the wild while I was doing it. This is for the boss fight, for the Riverin, it was taking me forever, because I, I would just get it wrong, and at one point you have to parry twice in a row, and like, that was so, but I, I got it. I got it eventually, but I was like, geez, for a Sonic game, this is like stupid, stupid hard. It was like, it was enraging me. It was, I was just, made, it was, I was, so, I was like under my breath. I'm like, God, this sucks. This sucks. This is so stupid. I can't tell when I'm hit. I don't know what's going on. There's all these colors and shit going on. I don't know what's going on. This is so stupid. So stupid that they make you, they rely on this parry mechanic so much, and they do. And I was just so mad. And so, <sighs> okay, fine. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. Oh, oh. Oh hey, Scott Falco has a video on Sonic Frontiers. I'll just watch I'll just watch that really quick. And at one point he goes. At one point he's going like, oh Sonic Frontiers is the latest Sonic installment. It's a pretty good game, blah 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 blah. And it has a parry mechanic, but the parry mechanic is really basic because it just automatically parries. And I was like, <laughs> like st stop <laughs> Automatically parries. Now what do you mean what do you mean automatically parries? Can you just hold down R1 and L1 and it just automatically parries? Is that really it? <laughs> so I load up Sonic Frontiers again, I walk into some random enemy, and I hold L1 and R1 down, and Sonic Poing! Oh my god. <laughs> There's like a bunch of enemies that summon spikes, and I just R1 out, hold it, parry the spikes. I get to a boss. I get to a boss. I get to a boss that relies heavily, heavily, heavily on the, the parry mechanic. Poing! <laughs> I am bad at vi So my score for Sonic Frontiers went up because, because my biggest complaint was the parry mechanic was super duper hard to get. And I've, I've been like, I've been like frame perfecting the parry when you just hold it down like a jackass. Like I, just... Okay, so like, like it's pretty. This isn't a spoiler. Um, it, I mean, it's 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 like it happens like right away, like the like right away when you when you free Amy, like right away. Spoilers, you free Amy. But like Sonic, like absorbs like uh, the, uh, Sonic like absorbs cyberspace energy, and and like that's how he's able to um, free Amy, and it starts to corrupt him from the inside out, and this progressively happens through various means to the game. And at one point, I thought for sure, like I heard like voices, like whispers, whispers on the wind, like I heard like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and I was like, whoa, what's that? What is that? I thought it was like Cthulhu whispers, like slowly corrupting, like Mind Flayer whispers, like rah, 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 attack your friends, kill your family. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, that is cool. Like, what? A, what? A, I'm like, oh, is Sonic like slowly losing it as he's like, 
uh, he's being corrupted from this inside out. Is it doing like an Eternal Darkness thing? Eternal Darkness was a spooky game for the GameCube where you would go insane. And the way they did that was it, well, your character just didn't act kind of silly on screen. Like it would, it would show like a volume bar and the volume would go up and down. So it looked like your TV, the volume was changing. It would change like color settings. It would change like parameters. It would like click to different channels. It would like go VHS, like tracking. So it, would, it would do all these like effects that it would to indicate that like you, like the player was going insane when nothing was happening. And I, I just thought that was really, really clever. So I thought, I thought Sonic Team was taking a page out of Eternal Darkness. And I'm sitting like, this is so clever. This is so clever. This is, arr, 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 arr. and Sonic's like, oh, oh, oh my God, oh, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, well, there's a drop dash mechanic I didn't know about in the game. And the drop dash is when you, when you essentially triple jump and you, you rev up and the rev up noise is like but i didn't know i didn't know about the drop dash <laughs> so so the entire time i'm like accidentally triple jumping and and i just i'm pressing the button so i just get like the first couple like couple just bits of the sound effect so it's like <laughs> it's just the drop it's just just a regular mechanic for the for the game that you just do. <laughs> and I'm over here like, wow, so innovative. Sonic Team next level, blowing my mind. Ah. <laughs> I can't play video games. You shouldn't let me. I'm just shouldn't play video games at all. <laughs> oh yeah, the game's good. You should go buy it. It's a good game.